first thing I want to ask you that uh, how many of you did an uh, online fundraising uh, campaign already? One, two, got two, three. Okay. Okay. And uh, how many of you have uh, uh, your own Facebook page or Twitter or, or Tumblr or blog? Okay, so it's uh, almost all of you. Okay, so it, it was it was really a useful for me because uh, uh, I will I will talk about it later. So uh, Neok, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, where I work, um, it's uh, was established in uh, 1993, and uh, our main goal is to help to develop the civic society in Hungary. Uh, I will in, in, a, in my presentation I, I will uh, talk about uh, uh, return on investment and some kind of business stuff and and how to uh, do uh, things on the internet and tips and tricks and, and uh, it's a very important part that you uh, about uh, measure your your activity so uh, at first we have to do the nasty part uh actually uh then the fundraising thing it's 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 a business you have to accept this you have to accept this thing uh, actually uh all of you are working for an ngo and you want to try to do some good but uh but uh, when it comes to fundraising you always have to be prepared you always have to uh, have a business mind and uh, you always have to do cost benefit analysis how much do you have to invest in a, in a, in fundraising and what do you want to get from from your investment uh, social media is a free tool mostly yeah uh, of course you can buy a, a, a advertiser uh, ads on, on Facebook and stuff, but mostly it's a free tool. But uh, what it really needs is manpower. You have to have one person who is responsible for your whole social media activity. Uh, all, all of uh, your colleagues can post on the internet, but uh, there is always have to be one person who has uh, everything in, in, in his or her mind uh, and, uh, and uh, organizing the, the, your activity on, on social media. You need to have a clear strategy about, about this thing. And uh, uh, what I, uh, what I um, uh, said earlier, you have to have a, a business mind a little bit when it comes to fundraising, because you, uh, uh, fundraising uh, um, uh, must be the part of your everyday activity. For example, uh, when you post something on your blog, uh, you can have a, um, a signature that if you want to have more of these posts, you can donate, uh, donate us. And, uh, and uh, uh, fundraising is really, really important because uh, for most of you it will mean uh, in, in independence. For example, in the case of us, I know that they are really aware of, of actually you are aware of state funds because you you want to stay independent. So if you are uh, really good fundraisers, uh, it, it will it will help you a lot. Um, okay. So uh, I I was. Uh, I uh, wrote some bullet points uh, about these things. The, these are uh, maybe too common, and, and you don't think that it's uh, nothing special. It's really important that social media is not rocket science. So it's uh, when you say that you have to be authentic, you have to raise awareness, you have to uh, be social in, in social media. Yeah, it's sometimes uh, they, they, they are just sounding like uh, empty phrases, but uh, actually this is how social media works. It, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, when when um, uh, the first thing I, I always mention that uh, you have to be authentic if you if you uh, want to be successful on, on social media. So if you are a bunch of hippies, don't want to look like businessmen. And uh, uh, if if you are I don't know uh, uh, animal 
shared uh, organization, you don't have to uh, talk about uh, you know, children, healthcare and, and stuff. Uh, uh, do what you do otherwise. And uh, the other thing is, which is very important, <coughs> that uh, you have to do uh, social media every day. It's not that you are running a campaign, then you forget all of your followers and all, all of your friends, and then when you uh, want to ask their money again, you, you go back and, and uh, start uh, everything from, from the beginning. Uh, you, in uh, social media, you have to be very, very innovative. And you have to uh, search for new tools because there are new tools every day on the internet that you can use successfully. Uh, having someone in your organization who is uh, really tech savvy, uh, it, it never hurts. Someone who, who has always uh, these things in, in uh, his or her mind and always uh, reading the new, new stuff and, and always uh, uh, knows the new tools. Uh, and it's a really important thing what, that, what I wrote, that don't be too smart. Uh, when you, uh, it's a very common mistake when, when you are blogging that you want to be always too smart and you want to always uh, 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 write a, a huge blog post which is very accurate and very scientific and you are investing very much uh, uh, time in a blog post. Don't, don't do that <laughs> because, because most of your audience don't care about uh, uh, the, in, the depth and uh, and it uh, because uh, such a accurate blog post uh, takes uh, a long time to write. So it's much better if you write three uh, blog posts in a week than only one. And uh, also the <laughs> other people mentioned that you have to know your audience. Uh, you have to know your environment. Uh, uh, I mean that, uh, for example, in Hungary, Twitter is not a big thing. Only a few people uh, are using it, but lots of people are using uh, Facebook, and we had another social media site, social network site, which was quite popular five years ago. <laughs> but but it's not uh, not popular anymore, so everybody switched to uh, Facebook, and you have to know that. Um, and if you have something in your mind, always Google it. It's, 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 maybe it sounds also very simple, but you have to do this. You have to uh, uh, search for new tools on the internet. And uh, for example, there is uh, this website uh, I, I, I'm mentioning. It's uh, very common. It's, it's, uh, it's not a hidden thing. It's very popular. And uh, they are always putting uh, really good uh, practices uh, about social good and how, uh, which are the new tools that the people can use, the best practices. And uh, uh, there is always a couple of uh, posts every week, and you can read it, and it's it's really really useful for inspiration. Uh, uh, I wanted to say that uh, when you're using social media, you have to monitor your audience. Uh, social media is, is a really good uh, uh, tool where you can always get instant feedback of, uh, about your activity. You always know what your, what your uh, audience likes. And, uh, and uh, for, there are a couple of t tips and tricks and uh, well, there are companies who are measuring uh, about when people click on the internet, for example, which are the, the peak hours when they, when is the most likely when people will share your uh, your, your uh, post, for it, uh, for instance. But uh, it always depends on your audience. So maybe uh, it's true for 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 uh, for a business organization, but maybe your your uh, audience is I don't know mostly school kids who cannot use uh, internet during the day, only in the night. So you have to know that. <coughs> and you always have to uh, follow uh, your your post later, how popular they were. And there are a couple of things, I, I will talk about them later, which can help uh, to monitor your activity. And um, uh, I, I, I just... Uh, 
wanted to talk uh, uh, about PayPal, which is a really cool fundraising tool. And uh, I was a little bit uh, surprised when, when the, uh, the new from Tilos uh, uh, mentioned that only uh, you got only 100 euros from uh, via PayPal. Uh, PayPal is a, is a really simple tool and it, it works really good for non-profit uh, non organizations. Uh, but uh, what you have to know that if you want to set up a PayPal account, uh, it takes time. Sometimes it takes months to, to get authorization from, from PayPal. And uh, which is also really important to mention that uh, you cannot call them at any time. Uh, uh, if you have uh, any problems with it only from 9 to 5 London time, so good luck uh, to all friends in Australia. But, uh, but uh, it's, it's, a really, uh, it's a really, really useful tool because uh, uh, people can donate re really easily and it's really good too if you want to uh, have, uh, if you want to get donations from abroad because uh, people all around the world can, can uh, use uh, PayPal. Uh, and the other thing what uh, I wanted to mention, which is uh, also was a part of, of uh, TAS H S I U. Sorry, I I I. <laughs> I <laughs> was so much so easier to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Your uh, English uh, acronym. Um, that uh, gamification can be a really, really useful to, to re reach your uh, audience and, and raise awareness. Um, for example, uh, you can give only small uh, online badges that they can put on, on their website, uh, people who donated uh, and stuff. Gamification can be, can be really, really useful. And uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is uh, uh, and this is quite new, uh, data uh, visualization. And uh, it, it really helps uh, when you, when you uh, try to uh, communicate your, your cause and, and to raise awareness. Uh, I think uh, uh, online fundraising and raising awareness uh, about your cause uh, are, are walking, walking hand in hand. Because sometimes when, when you just raise awareness, it helps you to uh, to open doors for uh, to to companies as well, and you can you can uh, uh, get back that uh, money what you were invested only uh, in social media. And uh, there are uh, really <coughs> cool new tools uh, where you can. Uh, uh, make, uh, for example, infographics. And uh, one of them is this uh, inforg.am, uh, which uh, helps you to create, I, I, I made this uh, 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 picture. Uh, it's about uh, how many people uh, donated uh, the 1% here in Hungary, and which uh, uh, or, uh, NGOs were the most successful. Uh, uh, in this area in Hungary, so it's, it's really, really uh, easy to use. Uh, and uh, also, uh, as a part of the, the, the gamification uh, issue, uh, when you want to reach a new 1,000 euro to collect, uh, you can always use a, a thermometer or something that, which shows where you stand uh, in the progress. And uh, one of these uh, 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 tools is uh, chinpin.com. Um, it's uh, really easy to use. You can embed it in your blog, in your website, on your Facebook page, and, and it's uh, really, really easy to use. Can you write in that down? Yeah, okay. sure. Uh, do. Uh, mm -hmm. Nothing. 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 Nothing.
I am almost almost finished. And uh, it is really really important always to measure your activities. You you don't uh, just invest into social media. You want something uh, get back from from your efforts. And uh, it's it's a really good thing. You can always have instant feedback. You you always know what your audience like and what, what they don't like. Uh, and uh, and uh, be brave enough to uh, and dare to drop things. It, sometimes it's it's uh, very difficult to do because you think that you invest so much in, in, in for instance in a blog or a, in a Twitter account and it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, you have to drop it because it it, it just doesn't work. Even sometimes even a spreadsheet can help for you. Where you, where you are writing down, uh, for, for instance, on the 1st of November we have 1,000 Facebook fans and on uh, the 1st of December we have 2,000 Facebook fans. And how do you, can, you can manage your activity, how you can, how you can measure your activity. And uh, evaluate your your activity regularly. Always uh, sit down and 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 uh, think about what 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 is good, what is what is not uh, what isn't good, and and uh, just to think about it and and to uh, create new strategy. And uh, what I was uh, uh, mentioning earlier, that there are really cool tools that you can. Uh, use for example uh, cloud.com. Uh, it it's, uh, it measures uh, uh, Twitter. It measures a little bit uh, fa Facebook uh, and lots of social media <coughs> sites. Uh, uh, it's, it, the cloud is a really useful tool if you are using Twitter heavily. Uh, and the other thing which is really really still very good is Google Analytics. Oh, you can measure your website, uh, uh, and before you are uh, rebuilding your website, you, you always have to uh, lo look your Google Analytics results because it helps a lot. You cannot imagine how, how useful these things are and what, how you can prioritize uh, uh, the things you do. So uh, this is it mostly, and if you have any questions, you can always uh, uh, find me on, 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 on social media <coughs> websites under, under, under this name, so feel free to ask.